Welcome to the Blades Q&A presented by Bud Light. I'm Mike Kelly, joined by Adam Winslow in the Everblades front office. And we're joined by the captain of the Everblades, John McCarran. And we ask questions across the social media platforms for the Everblades. And from Facebook, John, Susie asks a question. How have you been keeping busy during the pandemic? Yeah, it's definitely a, a new new time of uh, in our lives, I guess, all of us, you know, kind of adapting as we go. Um, you know, before the quarantine, I was, you know, out in Stockton, California. So quarantine was kind of a blessing for, you know, my wife and I as we were able to come back together and, uh, you know, spend some time together. Um, you know, we, we got bikes right beforehand because we didn't know if we we're going to be able to drive or do anything. So I've <laughs> been doing a lot of biking um, and I actually started back up with the wealth management firm that I've been working with the past few summers. Um, so I was lucky enough to be back hired and uh, have a job, you know, because it's kind of a scary time right now for us minor league hockey players. Um, so I've been doing that and studying for my CFP. So I've been, you know, I had a few weeks there where I wasn't too busy, but, you know, now uh, back into the grind of the real world work. So <laughs> <laughs> that's great. Um, next question we got from actually Instagram, a fan from Instagram, Kathy. She asked, what is the most challenging part about being the captain of a pro hockey team? Yeah. Um, you know, I'm lucky enough to be a captain in Florida where we usually have, a, you know, a lot of different leaders throughout the team. Um, you know, I'd say one of the challenging aspects at the ECHL level, there's so much roster movement, you know, to kind of keep, keep the team, you know, camaraderie level at a high and also, you know, making sure everybody's bought in, whether they're coming down from the AHL or, you know, being called up from the SPHL. We want to make sure everybody's on the same page. And, um, you know, like I said, we're lucky in Florida. I have a lot of help. Um, you know, by my side, you know, assistant captains or even guys that are just veterans in the league to uh, help guide, you know, the players next to me. And, um, you know, it's kind of a learning experience and I've been able to get better at it as the years go by. But, uh, you know, I'm, I'm lucky to have good teammates to help me. From Twitter, Chris sent in a question. He asks, uh, how was your time playing in Stockton, California in the American Hockey League again this year? It was great. You know, it's, it's a testament to their organization to call me back up. Um, you know, thought I played, you know, well there the previous season. And, you know, to get another opportunity was great. You know, unfortunately, we don't know what would have happened. You know, maybe the playoffs out there or, you know, come back here and win the Kelly Cup is always definitely the priority. So, um, you know, Stockton was fun. It's it's always awesome to be recognized and, you know, move up to the next level. But, you know, my heart's definitely in Florida. So it's, it's kind of tough to leave during that playoff push. How's the weather in comparison to both Stockton, California versus Southwest Florida? Yeah, I mean, uh, nothing really compares to Southwest Florida, but, uh, <laughs> you know, Stockton isn't too bad. It was, it was about 50 degrees out there when I went, uh, and I think I left Florida. It was about 75 or 80, so <laughs> it was cold for me. <laughs> yeah. Another one from Twitter we got. Casey asks, what goes through your mind when you're out on the ice playing in the crowd, the crowd's cheering? And I would say, let's go with uh, – a home crowd at a Hertz arena versus an away crowd. Yeah. Um, it's, you know, it's everything to a player, you know, to be recognized by the whole fan base cheering, you know, whether it's your teammates scoring a goal and you're just on the bench, you feed off that atmosphere. And we're lucky enough to have some of the best fans in hockey at Hertz arena. Um, you know, and then I guess <laughs> at an opposing rink, um, you don't really want to hear them cheer. You'd rather hear them boo. So um, for me, the louder the boos means we're doing something right. So it's uh Definitely a comparison. Thanks for joining us. We're on the uh, Blades Q&A presented by Bud Light. And from Instagram, Ryan gets right to it. He says, what's your favorite food, John? Well, I'm, I'm a meat and potatoes guy, so I have to go with a steak. Definitely a <laughs> nice. steak. Sticking on food, Katie from Facebook. What do you prefer more, Pop-Tarts or Toaster Strudel? We're getting right down to the nitty-gritty. <laughs> yeah, I haven't, I haven't had either of those in a, in a while. You know, I had... Uh, <laughs> I'd be watching my figure going into the hockey world, but I, I would say I've eaten more pop tarts in my lifetime, so I'm, I'm going to go with pop tarts. What flavor, though? That's the big question. I think s'mores is a pretty good one. Ooh, that's a good one. S'mores is a good right. one. Absolutely. From Instagram now, Amos asks, "What's your favorite barbecue food?" Shout out to Amos and Bentley. Those are a couple big fans. Um, my favorite barbecue food. Wow. Probably pulled pork, but I also loved ribs. Um, I don't, there isn't too many places around here that are serving ribs, but I think, uh, you know, old school bar backyard barbecue, pulled pork and some ribs, uh, I could last on that for a couple of weeks. 
<laughs> All right, we're going to change gears here. Staying on Instagram, we have one of your teammates ask, if someone on the team had a pet bird, who would it be and why? Yeah, that's a, that's a tough one. But, <laughs> um, you know, Cam Johnson, he's an animal lover, and he has some uh, crazy pets back home. He just posted in our group chat the other day. He had this big pet lizard. So I'm Ooh. assuming he'd be cool with a bird, too. So I'm going to give Cam the bird. <laughs> awesome. Partway through this past season, your brother, Michael McCarron, who is also a pro forward, joined the Nashville Predators organization. How did it go for him playing for the AHL Milwaukee Admirals? Yeah, he loved it. It was a fresh start for him. He was, you know, we came into pro hockey at the same time, and he's been with Montreal the entire five years up to that point. Um, so it was a good change of pace for him, and he loved, you know, he loved the city of Milwaukee and his time that he was able to be there. And, you know, they were first place ready to make a playoff push, and he hadn't played in the AHL playoffs yet in his career. So that was a bummer that they finished in first and weren't able to go into the playoffs. but. Um, you know, he's, he's happy to be in the national organization and hopefully looking to play for the Predators soon. Nice. Now over the weekend, Mike touched on it when we first started. You were spotted playing roller hockey with the kids in Veterans Park. How important is it to give back to the Southwest Florida community? Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm definitely fortunate enough to be a part of this community now, being here four years. Um, you know, we have like I said earlier, uh, tremendous support staff, um, you know, at Hertz Arena, you know, being the fans and, you know, the people that work there and every, everybody involved in the community. And, you know, just to be able to, the only skating I could do is on the roller rink right now. So <laughs> I was able to go out there and play with some, actually Bentley, like one of the guys who asked us the question, he came out and brought some friends. And, you know, it's nice to be able to, uh, to help the, the younger generation, especially in Florida, you know, influence them in, in hockey. So. I know I had that growing up in Michigan, so I just kind of want to give back in ways I can. That's great. Thanks for taking the time, John, to join with us here today, and, and great to see you again. Yeah, thanks, Mike. Thanks, Adam. Thanks, John. Appreciate it. That's the captain of the Everblades, John McCarron. want to thank all the fans for sending in the questions on the social media platforms. Thank Adam for joining us as well, and that's Blades Q&A presented by Bud Light.